Good afternoon. I'm Matthew White, a booster technician here at Fusion Space. On your screen is the first of a next-generation Fusion 2 rocket at our brand new launch site in the National Space Center. We're currently on schedule for a launch in just eight and a half minutes from now and are tracking no issues that would prevent a launch today. Today we are not launching any payloads to space as this is a demonstration mission that intends to verify the hundreds of design changes that we have made to Fusion 2. We have completely remade the launch infrastructure to support more frequent launches without refurbishment and the rocket itself has also been streamlined and simplified significantly. In short we have shaved off around 20 tons of weight and removed a quarter of the parts from the vehicle. In addition to this we have also added an upgraded version of Airless onto the first stage which is designed to run under much less stress than its predecessor, enhancing our booster reusability. We also only have 12 of these rather than 14 as seen before. The second stage also features a new single-engine design utilizing the next-gen Airless 2 engine, which will give us a more efficient and powerful second-stage design. If you wish to get the full list of upgrades made to Fusion 2 and get to know our new launch site, then you can check out the company update which we posted on Twitter one week ago. During the company update we announced several projects and gave updates on existing missions that will launch onboard Fusion 2 later this year. Today's launch is going to be a simple ride to low Drew orbit. The first stage will attempt a water landing just off the coast of the launch site and the second stage will perform a controlled re-entry after spending an hour in orbit. The countdown continues to proceed as expected and we should see the propellant loading wrap up in around 30 seconds. After that the strong back arm will release the rocket and move back slightly in preparation for liftoff. The strong back is what provides Fusion 2 with power and communications with the teams before launch, along with holding the cryogenic pipes necessary for propellant loading. Fusion 2 utilizes liquid oxygen and liquid methane to power the airless engines. We'll be continuing propellant loading right up to the T-6 minute mark for today's mission. Propellant loading is complete. And there is that confirmation that propellant loading has been completed. Next up will be the retraction of the QD umbilical on the strong back arm and then the strong back itself will retract. Strong back retract. The retraction has started ahead of launch. You should be able to see the two little arms on the second stage release in just a moment. There is a view of the QD umbilical that supplies the entire rocket with propellant and gases. You can see on this view that the strong back arm is now moving away from the vehicle. We still have some umbilicals attached to the rocket that will be released at T0. Tanks pressing for flight.
We're at T minus 3 minutes. We're not hearing any issues on the countdown so far and it looks like we won't need to hold the countdown but if we do need to then we can hold at T 30 seconds for around 10 minutes. T minus two minutes. One minute. LD is go for launch. Water on. Five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Vehicle pitching downrange. Twenty five seconds into the flight of Fusion Two. Everything is looking great, we have all 12 engines on the first stage firing. Next up is Max Q. Next up will be main engine cutoff and stage separation in just under 80 seconds. We'll see the LS2 engine on the second stage ignite to carry it into space. And six engines will relight on the first stage to bring it on path for a splashdown.
Nico. Stage separation. Eulis to ignition. Boost back startup. Fairing separation. And we just had multiple successful events take place there. We have a booster on its way back home and a second stage on its way to space. We just saw a view of the payload fairings being jettisoned as well. Boost back shutdown. And we just saw the boost back burn wrap up there. If all goes well the second stage should burn for around one more minute as the booster makes its descent. We do still have an entry burn to perform on the first stage to do final course adjustments and slow down a bit. That should take place in just over a minute. Entry burn startup. And you can see from a ground camera there that the entry burn has started. All six engines appear to be running healthily. Entry burn shut down. And with that the booster will now begin its final descent towards the landing target in the ocean. That landing burn should start in just over a minute as the vehicle passes Mach 1. There is a beautiful tracking shot of the booster using its fins to guide itself through the atmosphere. We'll be igniting six engines for that landing burn and transitioning to four for the final splashdown. Landing burn startup. And there we have an exciting landing attempt from our booster. Now we're currently still performing a burn on the second stage, 
This should have ended a few minutes ago, but we do appear to be having some issues there. However, we are still on a good trajectory, and that burn should wrap up soon. Seco. Vehicle is in orbit. And it looks like we've made it into orbit. That'll wrap up today's mission coverage here at Mission Control. You can stay up to date on our Twitter page on the status of this launch. We'd like to thank the teams at CASA for licensing this launch and congratulate our teams on a successful return to flight. Thank you all for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed this webcast and we hope you join us next time. Have a great night wherever you are.